guys ready? Yeah. There you go, little buddy. Where? Dump him out. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Just stay calm. Let him go. Let him go. He wants to go to the willow line. Run. Run to the forest. <laughs> Porcupine chase was a lot of fun. A lot more fun having the kids with me out here because for the kids, it's fun. So that makes it real fun for me. Run away, little porcupine. <laughs> it's so little. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we got the porcupine out of there. And now, now we have to fix up the house. Yeah, let's put some sheet iron on the cabin. That way the next porcupine that come along can't just eat it up. Okay, just, just push against it like that. Got rid of the porcupine. Now I want to make sure any other porcupine that come up can't chew on the cabin like this one was doing. Don't drop it on your toes. Oh, we're gonna put it like right here? Yeah, you can just go all the way down. There you go. And then at the bottom. Oh yeah, found it all the way in. There you go, you got it. Oh, Hold it right there. This is the best way for me to bond with my children because they learn a lot and um, it's hands-on. And sometimes I think in the city they can almost become like they don't need me. They have everything at hand. Do you think a porcupine can climb up this metal? Mm -mm. No way. When they're out here in the environment, they can sense the danger and they're relying on me 100%. So they kind of become sponges. They soak in all the knowledge real quick when we're in an environment like this, traveling. And that's how they learn. Get them out in the field. Gonna do the last one, score. And expose them to it, and they learn the right way to survive out here. I'm real proud of you guys. We came in, we did our business. When we leave, we leave a better place. But I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Let's go get some rest. No quills in the den.